during our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk about cation exchange capacity, or CEC, what it is, and how you can use that CEC number when you make nitrogen applications. First of all, cation exchange capacity is a measurement of soil's ability to hold water and nutrients, and it's determined by the amount of clay, the type of clay, and the amount of organic matter that a soil contains. What it really amounts to is soil is negatively charged. Cations are positively charged. So it's just a question of how many positively charged things can that soil hold. Well, the more surface area there is, the more holding capacity there is. And in order to get more surface area in soil, you need to have really, really small particles. So when we talk about clay and we talk about organic matter, those are the things that hold the most of everything else. So when you have a soil that's high in clay and high in organic matter, it's going to have a higher cation exchange capacity number. If a cation exchange capacity number is 20 or higher, we consider that to be a fairly heavy soil. If it's 10 or less, we consider it to be a fairly light soil. And of course, between 10 and 20 would be a medium textured soil. All right, so cation exchange capacity can be used for a number of things. For example, on a herbicide label, it might say, if you are above a certain level of cation exchange capacity, you should increase the rate. And most commonly, we'll look at this cation exchange capacity number as an indication of how much nitrogen our soils can safely hold at any one time. The number we'll use is 10 times the cation exchange capacity. So let's say, for example, your cation exchange capacity, or CEC, was 12. 12 times 10 is 120. We would tell you that at any point, your soil can hold about 120 pounds of nitrogen. So if let's say you run a soil test and find it already has 30 pounds sitting there, we would tell you the most you should apply in one application is 90 pounds. Now the challenging part here is let's say your crop needs 200 pounds total for the season. Well, if you can only hold 120 at any one point, that means you're going to need at least two different applications throughout the season if you want to protect that nitrogen and, and really avoid the highest risk of loss. So once again, cation exchange capacity, or CEC, is just simply a measurement of holding capacity in a person's soil. And whether you have a great big farm or you just have a garden or a lawn, we really encourage you get your soil tested, make sure you find out your CEC number so you know how much nitrogen and other nutrients to apply at any one time. Well, one thing that could be present really in any cation exchange capacity soil is our Weed of the Week. We'll show you how to stop this tough weed later in the show.